Hi, this is Emily's Creations, and today I'll be making button cookies. For this recipe, you will need one batch of my refrigerator cookie dough, chocolate drops, and food coloring. Divide the cookie dough into three equal parts. Wrap one part in cling wrap and put it in the fridge. Add food colouring to one of the dough balls and work it in through the dough. I use blue. Roll the dough into a cylinder. Do the same thing for the other dough ball. I used green colouring. Roll the dough cylinder in cling wrap and a tea towel so the bottom doesn't get flat and put them in the fridge for one hour. Get the plain dough out of the fridge and divide it in two equal parts. Roll the first part into a rectangle that will wrap around your dough cylinder. <laughs> you may need to measure it. Roll the plain dough rectangle around the cylinder. Pinch the edges together if you need to. You might also need to take any extras from the ends to fill in any gaps. Roll it again in the wax paper to make it smooth. Do this for the other dough. Wrap the cylinders in cling wrap and a tea towel and put them in the fridge for about an hour. Take the cylinders out of the fridge and with a knife make marks every half centimetre. These will be your guides for chopping the cookies. Chop the cookies and place them on a baking tray. Make sure they aren't touching. Put four chopped chips in a square on each cookie. These are like the holes in buttons. I put the pointy side down and push them in well. Bake them in the oven at 175 degrees Celsius for 9 to 11 minutes. Allow them to cool on a tray. And there you have it. Baked button cookies. Thanks for watching Emily's Creations. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>